You can't machine what you can't secure, so workholding is a critical aspect to consider for any CNC project. Hold down clamps are pretty ubiquitous in most shops, and they can take many forms, like this, or this, or this. And they generally work really well, but they are kind of unitaskers. If you're going to have to keep clamps on hand anyway, why not have them be a little more versatile? That was the whole idea behind what we're calling the Gator Tooth Clamp. And there's basically no wrong way to use these things. The business end of the clamp has a lip that can be used to hold material with very little overlap or impact to clearance. Or you can just place the whole body of the clamp over your stock. The rear end has teeth for grip, so if you flip your clamps they can be used as a backstop. There's also a hole in the back that you can use to drive a screw through at an angle to apply both lateral and vertical pressure to your workpiece. So you can use these to clamp large blocks from the side. Working with thin stock? Flip your clamps over. Working with thick material? Well, you can use a shim of some sort under the back end of the clamp to elevate it, or use another clamp. Like I said, there's basically no wrong way to use these things. If you're working with wood or plastic, or you're just worried that you might run into a clamp with your CNC, the aluminum gator tooth clamps should be great for you. If you need maximum holding strength, you can also get these in steel. The main slot in the clamp accommodates both M6 and quarter 20 bolts, the screw in the back is an M6. We'll include a selection of hardware with each set of clamps to get you started. If you're interested, you can check out the Gator Tooth clamps on our site, shop.carbide3d.com. These are strong and versatile clamps that we think will cover you for most of your basic CNC needs. Good luck and have fun machining, folks.